Hi, today I'll show you how to change your brake pads on your car. You should always change your pads whenever you hear them squeaking. It's not a complicated process if you're only changing the pads and not any other components or fluids. When you change the brake pads, you must change all the pads on the front wheels or all the pads on the rear wheels. The pads on the front wheels usually wear out much faster because there is much more force on them unless you always drive in reverse. I'll be replacing the front pads and I'll be wearing these gloves to protect my fingers and keep them clean, although they're already covered with a thick coat of hair. Replacing the pads starts with removing the tire, which everyone should know already. You use your jack to lift the car and remove the tire. I always keep one of these hydraulic jacks in my trunk. They are powerful, small and fast. Now it's time to loosen the nuts. I have to put the tire back on the ground before I can loosen the nut. There you go. The nuts can become quite stiff over time. Rather than using your hands and put pressure on your back, you can use your foot and put your weight on the driver, like this. and now it's much easier to open. You can see the brake disc here, and here's the caliper that's basically a hydraulic press that pushes the pads against the disc. If you don't replace the pads early and the pads wear out, it will start grinding the brake disc and will ruin it, and you will have to fix it or replace it. We'll need to remove these two screws from behind the caliper to remove the caliper. These screws also get quite tight and need some good force to open. Oh my god, I just hit and released the jack accidentally and the car fell over. The wheel fell right on my shoe, but I was able to pull my foot out fast. Always make sure your jack is mounted safe and stable and secure before working on your car. If you need, add more stands under your car to make sure it doesn't fall over. After removing the caliper, first make sure you won't pull on the hydraulic holes, and then remove the brake pads. You can see how much the old pads are worn out compared to the new ones. Now the first thing you need to do is to push the piston back in to make room for the thicker pads. And for that, I use my clamp. Never put your fingers in a clamp. Now we can push the piston in. You know they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away? I highly doubt it. Now we can put the pads on both sides on. And then put the caliper back on. Tighten its nuts nice and tight. And put the tire back on and tighten the nuts. Now it's time to lower the jack. And then God said, let there be steel toe shoes. The car is very heavy. Now as the last step, you have to turn on your car and press on the brake pedal a couple of times to re-engage the new pads with the disc. And then you're ready to go. Never drink and drive, kids. <laughs>